I'm Rachel. I lead the email marketing efforts here at Emma, and I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at how we actually use dynamic content to announce that we now have dynamic content. It's all very meta. You can now send unique, personalized content to your subscribers, all from a single email. So in our announcement, we were able to send different content to our customers based on which segment they fall into. Most of our customers received an email that featured a video starring Kale and Jess, but our university and agency customers received a video that featured Kale and Kelly. Plus, we were able to tailor the call to action based on the account type to lead to separate blog posts. And we didn't have to send two emails to do it. Our product team made it super simple. All you have to do is just copy and paste the code from our help doc, insert the two versions of the videos based on the account type, and you're all set. Here's what it looked like when it hit our customers' inboxes. If you want to see the step-by-step -step process we used to create the email, just stick around. We'll show you exactly how we did it, including the code we used. If you've seen enough, we'll see you next time. Oh, hey, you're still here. Here's how we created the dynamic content announcement using Emma's drag and drop editor. I've already got the different pieces of content I'm using in place. You can see that both versions of the video thumbnail are here, and both CTA buttons, which are linking out to two separate blog posts, have already been made using the button generator. Now it's time to copy and paste. I've already grabbed the shortcut names of the member fields I'm going to use from the audience section, and I have the resource center pulled up in a separate tab. Here, you can see all the different code that can be pasted to create the logic behind your dynamic content. Find the code you want to use. For this email, we want to send certain content to folks if their account type equals agency or university. In the resource center, we use city as a placeholder, but you can easily replace that with the shortcut name of the field you're actually using. Once you've copied the code, head back to the editor and drag an HTML block into the space above the correct content. Paste in your code and type in the appropriate criteria. Since we want this piece of content to go out to all agency customers or university customers, we'll type or and then repeat the tag with a second set of criteria. Now, we need to specify that the second video will go out to the rest of our customers. For this, we'll grab the else tag and paste it into the appropriately placed HTML block. This piece of content will now go out to everyone who wasn't captured by the first set of criteria. The next step is to place the end if tag in the appropriate spot so that Emma knows where to end the dynamic content section. And that's how you do it. Now it's your turn. Start using dynamic content to send your most relevant emails yet.